Hi, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and today I'll show you some of the Mac applications that I install on a new installation of a Macintosh. First application that I, I install on my new computer is always Dropbox. Uh, Dropbox is nothing but a virtual folder. You get 2 GB of space for free and you have if you have multiple machines you can just easily just transfer file from one Mac to another by just placing the file in the Dropbox folder. Now this file that I have placed here will be available to uh, every Dropbox account that I have. Basically I'm using Dropbox on three of my other computers. One is a Windows computer, one is another Macintosh and even on my iPad. So this way you can easily share files and I highly recommend you to check out Dropbox. I have done a detailed review about this. You can see this link for more info. The next application that I use is known as Jump Cut. Basically, this is a multi-level uh, clipboard. Let me open uh, text edit. Now, let's say I copy this text in my clipboard. You can paste it. That's fine. But what if I wanted to paste my uh, earlier clipboard items? Jump cut stores all of them. And you can just click and go back to another clipboard. Jump cut is totally free and you can download the same by going to this link the third application that i have is known as drop copy basically drop copy is nothing but as a easy way to transfer file from one mac to another you do not need to configure anything you just need drop copy to run on another machine i have installed drop copy on my another mac that's the macbook air and if i want to transfer this file to the macbook air i do nothing i just drag it and leave it here and the file will be sent automatically to my MacBook Air. This works even on Lion. You might argue that Lion has a similar functionality known as uh, AirDrop, but the problem is that AirDrop only works on Lion. And if you have some older Macs running older version like Snow Leopard or Leopard, it won't work. And Drop Copy works on everything. So give Drop Copy a try if you have multiple Macs in your environment. The next application that I use a lot is known as 1Password and 1Password makes uh, remembering all the tons of passwords uh, that we deal with our digital life is easier. You do not need to remember anything. You just need to remember one master password and 1Password uh, will remember everything. For example, let's say uh, this is the admin interface of Tech2Bus and to just uh, I do not even remember what is the password. I just click here and select and it automatically logs and uh, but the thing with one password it's a paid app just go to the website uh, that's listed on the screen and check out one password in my opinion this is a must-have app if you use a Mac the next application that I use a lot is known as little snitch this is a mini firewall basically uh, these days a lot of applications send out data from your computer they ping to other servers send usage data or something like that you don't know what's happening by installing little snitch a pop up uh, whenever an application will try to send information it will show you and you can block it i feel uh, this is again a really good app and i have been using this now for more than a year the next application that i use a lot is called m player x i have done a review of this also this is nothing but uh, basically a video player and the best part about uh, uh, this player is that it can play n number of formats sadly uh, the quicktime player that is bundled with the mac can, is really limited but with m player you can play n number of formats and it's really um, lightweight application you can check out this link where i have done a detailed review about this the next application is known as text wrangler this is basically a text editor and uh, it is much it's it's again a f uh, free application as you can see you can even open programmatic files i have opened a php file in this and it does the color formatting it can even open basic text files and basic document files and uh, it's again free i have uh, have been using this a lot and these days i am using it exclusively to uh, write code the next application that I have is known as Alfred. You must have noticed that I'm launching applications uh, using this. Alfred is nothing but a quick application launcher. For example, app. And I personally feel that it's a much better way to launch apps quickly on your Mac. 
and this as you can see this is the notification that you are getting because of little snatch the next application i have is known as uh, menu meters it's over here and this gives you these four tabs basically you, if you are a geek like me and want to monitor the usage of your cpu you can just click here as i'm running i7 it shows all the eight cores what is the usage activity similarly you can actually see the network activity and it will show you in real time your network activity if you're downloading a file uh, or uploading a file it will show over here in real time similarly desk and there is also an option for memory again this is a free app and last but least uh, is firefox i uh, actually uh, i'm not going to talk about firefox but i like uh, the feature of sync that is provided by firefox if you're using multiple computers and if you have firefox installed on them i think so the sync feature in the firefox is really great by using that uh, you can easily sync your bookmarks even passwords if you like preference history and tabs i have done a video about the new features in firefox 5 you can see that from win 4 as you can see you can even pull tabs from another computer so these are some of the applications that I install on a new Mac computer. I hope this video was helpful. If it was helpful, please click on the like button given below. And I would also like to know what applications uh, do you like and you install on a new Mac. Uh, that's it for now. This is Ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.